Welcome to Arcsoft Low Light NR video tutorial. This video will show you how to process multi frame noise reduction. First, you might need to know the requirements to process the noise reduction. A group of photos between 3 and 6 is required. You can set the camera to the high speed burst mode and then shoot photos at the same scene. Make sure these photos are shot with the same parameters, including resolution, ISO, exposure time, aperture value, etc. After you finish shooting the photos, please do not adjust the resolution of the photos so that multi-frame noise reduction can be processed later to achieve the desired results. Currently the program supports to import JPEG and TIFF files. To reduce the noise with this program, please select 3 to 6 photo shots at the same scene with the same shooting parameters. Through the app's auto grouping option, you can easily choose a group of photos with the same scene. The photos selected will be listed in the photo bin. To cancel a photo you've selected, you can either click the photo in the preview area or move the cursor to the photo thumbnail in the photo bin to remove it. Once complete, click start to begin multi-frame noise reduction. If you've selected the wrong photo, click back on the lower left of the screen. The photos you selected previously are still listed in the photo bin for you to make the selections. On this Adjust Noise Reduction Level screen, you can view the before and after effect. Switch between Fit In, a 1 to 1, Zoom Out and Zoom In. Drag the intensity slider to preview the noise reduction results under different levels and then choose the desired level. Once you're finished, you can click share to share the photo on social media websites. Click save to export the photo. Here you can choose the file name, file format, save location, file size and file quality. If you want to process noise reduction on another photo, click new on the lower left of the screen. Select the photos you'd like to reduce noise and then click start. If you want to make additional editing to these photos, click Edit to access the Edit screen. In the Basic group, you can adjust white balance, temperature and tint. Use the selector to adjust the white balance according to the parameters of the specific point. If you select Auto, the program will automatically adjust the white balance. If you are not satisfied with the result, you can manually set the value of the temperature and tint to achieve the desired effect. You can then continue to adjust brightness, contrast and saturation. In the tone group, you can adjust highlight, light, shadows and darks. In the crop and straighten group, you can crop or straighten the photo. Click show crop overlay. You can either keep the original aspect ratio or choose the available ones from its drop down list. Click the plus icon in the middle of the crop area to reverse the aspect ratio.
You can drag the straighten slider to rotate the photo. Click Manual Straighten to manually adjust it. On the crop area, click and hold the left mouse button and then drag it to change the angle. Release the mouse to view the result and then click Apply to save the result. Click before and after to view the comparison effect. If you're satisfied with the adjustment, click save to export it.